everyone. I'm Morverit. I'm a third year sports science student uh, in the human performance pathway. And today we are here in the physiology lab assessing a runner's energy expenditure. Energy expenditure is the total amount of calories used and we can divide those calories into carbohydrates and fats. So if we have a look at the computer, we can see data and on the left side we see how much oxygen is being used and on the right side we can see how much carbon dioxide is uh, being expelled. So if we look at the actual data, the red um, data represents the carbon dioxide and the blue data represents the oxygen. If we look at the pink data, it states uh, the heart rate. And these data can be used to calculate uh, a runner's energy expenditure. To assess an athlete's performance and help him with his performance, we would need to assess his race pace and we will have a closer look at the treadmill as I'm increasing his race pace in order to measure his energy expenditure. We can use the treadmill to assess an athlete in different environmental conditions. Especially with the upcoming Tokyo Olympics, we could use this to look at different uh, climates, such as heat or even in the cold. Hello there, we're at the Sports Psychology Lab today and we're measuring an athlete's gaze behavior using eye tracking technology. And as we can see here, he's wearing glasses. These glasses measure the gaze behavior. We have one camera looking at the environment and we have another camera which is focused on the eye. As you can see in the background we have three infrared beams uh, which are focused on the pupil. This technology allows us to see what the athlete is looking at which helps us in understanding their decision making. The software creates a crosshair which allows us to see what the athlete is looking at. So for example, if I put my finger up and ask the athlete to look at my finger, the crosshair will move across. This technology allows us to understand the differences between experts and novices in gaze behaviour, which we then can use to implement interventions in order to improve their gaze behaviour and therefore their decision making. I hope you enjoyed the demos and please contact us if you have any questions.